Hello everyone, my name is Lucia and in this video I will show you how to navigate Google Classroom. So the very first thing we're going to do, we're going to sign in. So we're going to enter your email address. We're going to press enter to continue and we're going to enter our password and enter to continue. So now we are sent to Gmail, but we don't want that. We're going to click on this nine square button to access Google Calendar. And we're going to press on this button that says number 31 calendar. It's going to take us to the Google Calendar site and it looks something like this. So now we by default it's by week so we see august 9 to august 15 but you can change that so if you click on it you are able to change it to day month or also year if you want to see the the whole calendar for 2020 but let's go back to a um, week so to create a event you're going to press on the date that you want and on the time so i'm going to select friday august 14 and i'm going to add the title of my meeting so meeting with teacher august 14 at 10 a.m and i can change the time so if it's an hour i can click more if it's less i'm able to change the time or input the time manually i can also select all day if the meeting is going to be all day so that's an option, but also we are able to um, repeat the event. So in this case, I don't want to repeat an event. I am also able to create a notification. So 30 minutes before the meeting, I can also add other people to the meeting. And there you go. I have my meeting. Now, another way to create a meeting, you press create, you add the title of the meeting, the same thing, um, the date, and also the time and you can customize for the meetings to repeat uh, weekly on Friday or you can also customize so for example if I want this meeting to happen Monday Wednesday and Friday I click Monday Wednesday and Friday and for the semester usually they end it ends December like 19 so I'm going to select December 19 or 18 to change um, to make sure that the that these events repeat Monday, Wednesday, Friday until December 19, 2020, once our scholars are out of school for the fall. So if you take a look, all the meetings that I have created repeat Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And this is gonna happen until December 18, 2020. So now let's go back. Let's say I wanna create another event that, that overlaps a certain event, we can totally do that. So just click on the date and time, and I'm gonna, let's say this is Johnny's class. So I'm gonna go ahead and add Johnny's class or Johnny's math class. The, um, the time is on Fridays, 10.30 to 11.30, and I wanna customize it. So Wednesday and Friday, Johnny's gonna have his math classes, and this is gonna end until December 18, when classes end. So I'm able to do that. You see the blue button? I'm able to change the color of that event. So let's say I have another scholar, I can give every scholar their different color. So for example, Johnny's class is going to be um, in red code. So now I, uh, my events are overlapping and then the color codes makes it simple for me to track my events and if i go to month i can see that johnny's math class repeats wednesdays and fridays the same time so the other cool thing is that you can add the zoom link as i have just done on my screen so if you have the zoom link to a meeting you can add it to the location um, instead of typing a find actual destination, you just typed in the link and you are able to just automatically click on that link and it takes you to that Zoom meeting that specific date. So that's pretty cool. And that's pretty much it on Google Calendar. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.